everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and it's been a little while since we've done one of these quick shots, so let's do one right now. In my live feed on Monday evening, somebody brought up this vehicle, so let's take a look at it. This is the Cobra Rage from 1990. I recently acquired this vehicle from a former co-worker by the name of Steve. I didn't ask Steve if I could use his full name, so I'll just use his first name, but thank you, Steve, uh, for help with this vehicle. Uh, it is not quite complete, so it is not not ready to review yet. It is mostly complete though so we can get a good look at it and this vehicle is just loaded with features. There's just so much on here. Tons of moving parts. Even here in the front we have this uh, armored plate here in the front that pops down. Uh, we've got a Gatling gun uh, that will spin. It has a little thumb wheel there so you can spin it. Uh, you've got uh, opening uh, canopies with a cockpit down in there. Looks like I need to clean that before we do a full review on it. Then we have these wide wheels and this whole vehicle sits pretty low to the ground. It has a very low profile and it has a bunch of pop-out weapons like this pop-out rocket launcher. Uh, you have this big turret up here at the top that can uh, rotate and elevate but it also swings up to snap in an upward position. And then under it, it has another gun that can swing. We've got missiles on the turret. We've got missiles on the side support as well. Lots of little things that you can open up. There's a engine cover here uh, with some engine detail. Uh, and then here in the back, this is actually the part that's not complete. It has this mine dispenser here in the back, which is a tray that you can slide out. Well, this one sticks pretty good. Uh, and it's supposed to drop mines down, uh, these little mines. I only have one of them. I thought I had two, uh, but the vehicle came with, I think, four. Uh, and so I need more of these in order to complete the vehicle. Uh, also, uh, we have some broken foot pegs in the back here. So I'll have to decide if, um, if I need to replace the body uh, in order for this to be review ready. But, man, it's so close to being complete. I'm not sure if I will replace it. And I'm pretty uh, thrilled to have this vehicle uh, at this level of completion. I actually did have one before that was missing a lot of parts and I gave that away to a local uh, toy dealer. So I don't have that one anymore. So this is nice. It certainly does have a lot of features, but it is also kind of strange. It's asymmetrical, which makes it look a little bit off balance. But this is just the kind of weird technology that Cobra would use. This might not work as a G.I. Joe vehicle, but for Cobra, it's just right along the lines of the usual weird stuff they have. It's also a surprisingly practical design. This low profile would make it less of a target. And these wide wheels might work pretty well in a sandy environment. So that was the 1990 Cobra Rage. I hope you enjoyed this brief look at it. I'll be back this Sunday with a full vintage G.I. Joe toy review. I hope to see you all there. Also, I made a special appearance in half the battle's five-year anniversary episode so if you haven't watched that check it out thanks for watching everyone and i'll see you next time